channel the greatest channel in the land I am mr. budgets mr. B and the B stands for budgets today we're going to be cooking today I'm going to be making poor man steaks poor man steaks and the reason why I'm making poor man steaks is because I am a poor man and I'm trying to help all my brothers out you know all across the world poor man unite poor man unite poor man unite so we're making poor man steaks. Every man deserves a taste of steak every once in a while. So today I'm making poor man steaks. It's an easy recipe to make. It takes ingredients that you probably already have in your cabinet. The ingredients that you'll need, you'll need two pounds of ground beef or however much ground beef you want to make. If you want to make a lot, use more. If you don't want as many steaks, you can just use a pound of ground beef. You'll need one and a half cups of saltine crackers. You want to crush them up. One cup of whole milk, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, salt and pepper, one cup of flour for dredging, whatever that means. Two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, and for your gravy, you also want two cans of condensed, two cans of condensed cream of mushroom soup, one and a half cups of whole milk, and one and a half teaspoons of fresh parsley, chopped up. Okay, so that's all the ingredients. Let's get to it. Okay, we're ready for step one. We wanna go ahead and get a large bowl out. We're about to combine some of our ingredients. We're gonna combine our ground beef, our crushed saltine crackers, milk, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, and salt and pepper. All right, so we're about to add in our saltine crackers. You want to crush up one and a half cups. Whatever that's to me. Whatever that's to me. Oh, I guess you crush them and then put them in there. Uh, crush one and a half, or I guess one like and a half crush them, crush. crush them, and then put them in there, and then measure the one and a half.
quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Just want to add a little pinch of salt. And just throw a little pepper in there, a little black pepper. All right, so now that we have all of our ingredients in the bowl, you want to get in there, mix it up. I'm um, just thinking about putting my hands in there with the milk and the soggy crackers with the hamburger meat. Uh, I don't know about that part. It says you can use a spoon, but I'm gonna go ahead and get in there with my hands. Um, you want to go ahead and mix it all up until it's right now it's, it's really smelling good already just mixing all those seasonings in in the bowl all together it's really got a good aroma these are really gonna these might taste pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it on up All right, so after you have all your hamburger mix, once you have everything mixed up, you wanna go ahead and start patting out your patties. I guess these are supposed to look like little hamburgers. Little, little steaks. Little steaks. All right, so once you have all your patties patted out, you want to get a shallow bowl, you want to get a shallow dish. We're about to add one cup of flour. And go ahead and line the bottom of your shallow dish with flour. Then we're about to put a little salt and pepper into the flour. Just a little salt, a little pinch of salt, and a little pepper. So next, you're going to dredge your patties into the flour. Does anybody know what dredge means? Because I sure don't. Hey Alexa, what does dredge mean? Dredge is usually defined as any of various powerful machines for dredging up or removing earth as from the bottom of a river by means of a scoop, a series of buckets, a suction pipe, or the like. As a verb, dredge is usually defined as to clear out with a dredge, remove sand, silt, mud, etc. From the bottom for more. Okay, Alexa, stop. Okay, so from Alexa's definition, I gather that we're about to put the patties into the flour and we're gonna pretty much try to sop that up. We're pretty much trying to sop up the flour from the bowl so that your patties are covered in the flour. All right, so now that we got our patties all patted out, dredged in flour, we're about to move over here to the stove. Okay, so over here at the stove, you wanna go ahead and preheat your stove. You wanna go ahead and set your stove to medium high. Then you wanna grab some butter. I have my stove set to medium high. You wanna go ahead and melt two tablespoons of butter. And one tablespoon of olive oil. And get that all in there. You want to go ahead and let your butter melt down. All right, so now that we got our steaks in here, you want to go ahead and let them cook. And just like a real steak, you want to let them get an even cook. So we're going to go ahead and flip these pretty much every two minutes. These are on medium high, so yeah, let them let them ride for about two minutes. And we're going to get in here and we're going to flip them over, see what they look on the other side.
Okay, so it's probably pretty reasonable not to cook five steaks in one pan. You probably only want to cook two or three at a time because when you get in there and try to flip it over, the spatula is pretty wide, so you end up cutting another piece of steak off, and it pretty much makes it look ugly. All right, so now that we have our parsley flakes mixed in here with our gravy, we wanna go ahead and pour this over the steaks. I probably don't need to use all of this. But you will. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember like I said guys, happy wife, happy life. You ain't gonna waste it. Silly. Get all those shrooms in there. Next up, you want to cover your dish with aluminum foil.
All right, so you want to cover your dish with aluminum foil. The reason why you want to cover it with aluminum foil is to prevent a mess. The directions said just cover it with aluminum foil to prevent a mess. So I'm guessing it might get messy. So we're going to go ahead and cover with aluminum foil. And we're about to put it in our oven. You want to go ahead and preheat your oven to bake 350. We're going to put these in and let them bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. And now we wait. All right, so it's been 40 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pop these out. I'm pretty sure they're done. The smell in the air smells like they've been cooking for a while. Maybe they overcooked. We're about to see. All right, so this is my first time cooking this, so don't judge how it looks. We're about to see what we got. I would be impressed if I knew I put some cheese in here, but I didn't put any cheese, so I'm guessing that yellow stuff is the oil. You can see the mushrooms from the cream of mushroom soup. They rose to the top and they're stuck on top of the steak. This is what poor people eat, I guess. This is a poor man's steak, and I'm a poor man, so I'm about to, I'm about to dive in. I'm about to dive in! Oh. Alright, let's get to it. All right, so our poor man's steaks are finished. We're about to give it a taste. Um, it looks like food for a poor man. So yeah, we're, I, I, okay. So I'm about to cut this up and let's get into it. Get into it. It's very tender and soft. Ooh, she fell apart. Mm -hmm. I can't eat that big old thing. Oh. I'm gonna burn my mouth off. Oh yeah, it is hot. Mm, you can just smell the gravy. I can't really poke it with the fork because it's falling apart. Huh? I'll just eat one. I don't really like it either. <laughs> yeah, so we really don't, I really don't care for this. First, I don't like the texture of it. I feel like it's too soft and too soggy. Too soggy. The flavor, I feel like the flavor is kind of bland. Like all those seasonings I put in there, I, I'm not really tasting, but for one, it's the texture for me. It really doesn't taste like nothing. No. It tastes like. Well, maybe I will sprinkle some cheese on mine. Yeah, some cheese might do a little something to it. But as, as it stands like this, I don't really care for it. What kind? We have plenty of cheese. Whatever shredded something. Still vegan? That'll work. Mozzarella? Something, anything, anything. Anything really. Actually, I do taste some of the cayenne pepper. It is, I, I am getting a little of a spice. So, which one to eat for dinner? It's lunchable. I bet I'll eat So, since we risked our dinner time on a new recipe, on a new dish, let's taste it with cheese. We have to resort to eating lunchables for dinner. Let's taste it with cheese. But the cheese gotta be melted though. That ain't gonna be good like that. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Kind of like the meatloaf in middle school. The meatloaf in middle school had a little gravy on it. No, it wasn't bad. I mean, at lunchtime when you was a kid, you ate it, but I couldn't imagine really sitting down and eating it now. Yep, Chick fil A open. What time is it? Taco Bell. Ooh, Taco Bell would be good. I do Taco Bell. That ain't it. Yeah. It's a waste of ground beef. We don't have to try it. Yeah, it was a waste of everything. It was a waste of ground beef. It was a waste of milk. It was a waste of my time going to go get the cream of mushroom. I had I had all the ingredients already except for the whole milk and the cream of mushroom. Which is what prompted this. Yeah. I ain't gonna do I, right I already now. had all the ingredients, so I figured, hey, I might as well go ahead and try to make this. So. It's the sogginess for me. 
Yeah. All right, so try it if you want to. See what you think of it. Everybody's taste buds are different. I don't really care for it. Shay doesn't really care for it. But try it out on your own. I guess try to experiment with the ingredients. Maybe it would have been different if I had two pounds of ground beef. The recipe calls for two pounds of ground beef. I only had one pound of ground beef. Maybe that's why my ground beef is soggy because it didn't have a lot of other ground beef to sop up that the juices and everything. So this has been Cooking with the Budgets. I'm Mr. Budget signing out. Stay tuned for my other videos coming up. Like, subscribe, share, create your own recipes at home, share with your family. Bye.